Hi folks, today we're going to discuss an article which appeared in today's Dallas Morning News. This article is in reference to a Marine Corporal named James, excuse me, Jason Dunham. And that a ship was being launched by the United States Navy and Christian after this Marine's name. And here's the christening photographs. Now, when you look at this article, now this article is printed in the Dallas Morning News, reprinted from the Associated Press. You read this article, and it doesn't tell you what happened here. It doesn't tell you why the ship was named after this Marine. But you know something, folks? I knew. But I wonder how many of the other readers knew. This gentleman, this corporal, this Marine, was in Afghanistan in 2004 on patrol. The enemy threw a grenade in his direction. He took his helmet off, put it over the grenade, and thrust his body upon it to save the lives of his buddies. Well, he lost his life as a result. So the Congress of the United States awarded him the highest award given to a military personnel, the Congressional Medal of Honor. And it was presented to his family by President George Bush. This article, reprinted from the Associated Press, does not mention the Medal of Honor that he earned. The Associated Press mentioned it as evident in this article by the Associated Press. So the Associated Press reported it, but it was the Dallas Morning News that decided they were going to expunge it from the report. There was no need for you to know he earned this award. That's because, once again, the extreme liberals are showing their disdain towards our military and our military heroes. Here's where it gets a little interesting. On the same page that this article appeared, appeared this article. This article is a story on how some people are complaining that not enough Congressional Medal of Honor awards are being given out in this war. And it states that only six thus far have been awarded in this war. You think in this long article they would have mentioned the six? No! They didn't even mention the one in this one. And then the news media wonders why their subscriptions are declining and the viewerships on TV are declining also. It's because of garbage like this we're sick of your slant, bias, and your hate towards our military. There are sons and daughters who are protecting us. Alright folks, to couple Jason Dunham and his family and the United States military, we patriotic, loyal, and grateful Americans salute you and thank you for the job you do for us. Thank you. And to the rest of you, we'll see you. God bless you. God bless America. And God bless the nation you happen to be in. See ya.